All right, let's talk about the camp. Three up, three down. Let's start with your three up. Uh, number one is Marte Mapu, um, the rookie. I think Mapu, third, Mapu, Mapu. <laughs> the rookie third round pick. Um, even even though he was in a red jersey, he was out there a lot, um, sort of going between starter reps and backup reps. Sometimes being paired by Kyle Duggar. I mean, you know, look, uh, you know, I I don't I, I don't recall many rookies doing as much as he's done to this point as far as different positions starting time i mean even like let's take for instance kyle duggar kyle duggar was not getting these reps that marte mapu was as a rookie and he was their second round pick their top pick that year um you know and an older guy too yes coming from a small school but Mar mapu's coming from a small school um I love everything about this kid. I mean, if I if I could buy stock in this kid, I would buy it up and down. I love the physical profile. I love the multi-positional thing. I love how smart he looks on the field, getting people lined up, the checks and calls, the stuff that he's doing already. I love listening to him talk. He reminds me of Dante Hightower. You could tell that there's a, a very smart edge there. You know, maybe not the the brash, you know, the, the loudest guy, but you could just tell that there's this smart intensity. And so I love where this kid is going. I think he's going to have um, a major role very early in the season, or at least at some point in his rookie year. CLNS Media's Patriots coverage is brought to you by FanDuel. New customers get a no sweat first bet up to $1,000. That's bonus bets back if your first bet doesn't win. So uh, definitely number one is, is Mapu. Number two, Jack Jones. Uh, this is a little cheating because it was mostly off the last day. Jack Jones got the number one reps at cornerback over Christian Gonzalez, the rookie, and Jack Jones made the most of it. Had a great leaping interception of Mac Jones, got his hand on some other passes. Uh, I thought that was really smart of Belichick to sort of give Jones a little attaboy after what happened at the end of last year with the suspension. Now back in the fold, he's doing the right, right. things, apparently. You know, good good job giving him an attaboy into the offseason. And I thought Devontae Parker, again, I thought he was dog crap until the last day of OTAs or the <laughs> mini camp. But suddenly he was a freaking beast down the field, catching a touchdown, leaping, you know, doing everything. Funny how it works when DeAndre Hopkins is, is set to come to town. But uh, so those are my ups. I'm very excited about this defense. We'll talk about it a little bit more in depth in a few minutes. But just there have been some things you and I have talked about over the last couple of years that I think Belichick has now established. This defense needed to get younger, mostly check. This defense needed to get more athletic, check. This ne this defense needed to get more versatile, check. This defense needed to get more explosive, check. You have young, dynamic athletes on the field, especially at the second and third levels, and, and that is going to make a difference. It, it really is. And this defense had a really good year last year. We've talked about it, though, when you look inside the numbers, when they played better quarterbacks and better offenses, they weren't as good. But you start to see the pieces and you start to see the athleticism and the youth and the IQ, as you mentioned with Matt Pooh, that should get some people excited, if not most of you excited about the potential and the ceiling of this defense and how they've really turned the corner the last couple of years by kind of resetting and getting a number of guys in there uh, that are, you know, in their early to mid twenties. You talked about Devontae Parker. So we'll move on to the three down. Uh, number one is Trent Brown. We talked about him before. I mean, hasn't been there. Didn't look in great shape. Tapped out. Thanks for being out there for one day. <laughs> Thanks um, for playing Trent. Kind of. Exactly. Sort of. <laughs> uh, number two was uh, Smith Schuster and Taekwon, which we've talked about. It's just, it's never a good sign, especially, you know, I don't worry as much, as much with Juju, but Taekwon, like you talked about, he's a young kid who missed time last year. Time on the practice field is absolutely invaluable for these young receivers. Um, it, it's very hard for anybody, especially with the Patriots, to make an impact on offense as a wide receiver um, if you're missing too much time. It just it doesn't happen because you start missing too much. And, you know, hopefully this is just a, a blip for Taekwon, but you, you know, you worry. And number three, my other, th my third down was, I had something else, but I saved it for later, but I'm going with Bill Belichick, you know, just 
for a lot of different reasons, but you know, where he's left this team at tackle and wide receiver, he would never ever do this to his defense ever. Um, but he does it to the offense routinely. They get penalized two OTA days for something stupid. Don't really make it up. Give them the paintball day. I don't like that. I mean, you know, one or the other. Um, and you know, really, I, I didn't like the the feeling on the field between Bill Belichick and Mac Jones. And Bill's the the he's the head coach. He's the bigger guy. You know, there's obviously still an issue there, and these guys are just getting along to get uh they get along to get along and i don't really see how that's great i don't think it's any huge deal but it's just it makes it's awkward i mean when mac jones is off i mean there was one one drill i think bailey zappy was out there and bill's not doing much at practice he's just sort of watching this is after he's talked to james franklin he's not even paying attention he is on the field sort of blowing the whistle here and there and mac jones is watching and Mac Jones is 20 yards behind Bill, like standing by himself. Like if they had any sort of relationship, both or, you know, one of them would have walked up and they would have been chit-chatting about this and that. And like, that would be more healthy for this team. And, and I just don't think that relationship is anywhere near where it could be. And it's just, it's just annoying. And it's just, I blame Bill. He's the adult, be the bigger man for once and make it better. CLNS Media's Patriots coverage is brought to you by FanDuel. New customers get a no-sweat first bet up to $1,000. That's bonus bets back if your first bet doesn't win. 